go. My name is Engineer Teocracy. I will appreciate everybody in this uh, uh, industry of farm and those intending to go into farming system. I am here to discuss a topic that talks about ants versus snail. The predators that are fed snail in the farm. Uh, I always inform some clients that uh, ants is not a problem in the extensive system. So many people complain that ants will eat your snail, ants will kill your snail, so they are ants, 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 ants. This mentality about ants in the extensive system, some people are scared. Even those practicing intensive system are putting pressure and fear to those who want to go into extensive system because of ants. When you go here, you hear ants, ants, ants. Now let's discuss ant versus snail. How do ants get their food? When ants are in their colony, when ants is moving in the surface of the earth, those that are roaming about to look for food, do you know what happened? Any animal that dies in the farm, any animal that dies in the surface, immediately those animals dies and decay. Even some hours, they emit out a chemical. That chemical goes in the surface of the air. The ant has a chemical sense. There is a chemical sense in them to detect this chemical in the surface. When they detect that chemical, they go in that direction to know that, yes, there's something going on there. There's food there. Why? It is this dead animal that emits out that chemical. In terms of snails, when they die, they emit out chemical. Snails is protein. So ants are looking for protein. They consume all the animals in the forest. They dealt with snail if snail dies because we we'll call it a decay protein. Ants are so much in love with decay protein. Study ants, you understand. So much in love with decay protein. For ants to go and attack and kill an animal, it is very rare. Very, very rare. Now, when those dead animals emit this chemical, the ant will track. Now, how do they track? The antenna. Remember, snail has antenna, uh, uh, tentacle, we call it, some call it antenna, it was tentacle, then ant on his antenna. That antenna, the first snail, the first ant to detect that chemical sense. That chemical sense, they use it to detect the, 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 the odor or the, the smell or the, the aroma. They will detect it and they will start going to that direction. They go to that direction. And how do they do it? The first one to, to detect that with the chemical sense will use his antenna to define a trail of phenomons. You would define a trail on ground. That trail is a kind of a map laid on ground while going to that direction. Immediately gets there and he see a dead animal. Either snake, either uh, food, either uh, any other animals that die, flies, anything that dies on the ground, in the farm, in the house, anywhere. The first ant that detects that animal, the dead animal, through the camel sense that they have in built. If that is how God created them. That is what they use in looking for food. That animal, that ant who has defined that trail on ground will go back and notify them in the colony. The queen, which happens to be the, the founder of that colony, I'm coming back to that, will send them to go and all of them will be on convoy. On that defined trail of that first ant going to that location, all will follow that trail going there. When they get there, they pieces that animal. They take all the particles to the colony. They don't eat it there. They will not be there consuming. No, they pieces it on everybody. So you see some going, some coming, some going, some coming. That's why you see ants. When they are moving, they touch each other, they move. They come again, they touch each other, they move. Why are they doing that? They are trying to define and to renew the colony on ground. Uh, the, the trail defined on ground. Now, how do you know there is a trail on ground? And do you see that trail? You cannot see that trail. You cannot see that trail with your naked eyes. Then what happened? 
If you want to know that there is a trade defined on ground by this ant movement, just take your leg, clean up the line. If you see uh, 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 ant on a, on a parallel line going on a trail, just clean off. Use your hand to draw a line. Use your leg to clean up a line or kill. What happens? When it gets to that position, they won't see you. When it gets to that position, they will be shaking. They will be shaking. They will be shaking. You will see the action. You can practicalize this anywhere you are in the world. Anywhere you see ant on the tree. If it's in your house, on the wall, where ants are moving. Now, if you uh, uh, notice that in your wall, just anywhere you see ant, just clean up a line or kill one on that uh, uh, line. You have terminated that trail. That trade that they've defined again, you have terminated. When they get there, they get confused. They get confused and they will be shaking everywhere. You have put a confusion in their trail. They define trail unknown to you. Either you kill one or you just clean up. Just clean up that area. You have terminated that defined trail. And that is what will scatter the ants. Now, in extensive farming system, when ant dies in the farm, the wall, we build a wall. The wall that we build of the snake farm, that is why in all our farm, all our students, they will say, do a fence. You say, ah, it's too expensive. You have to do a fence. You fence out that place up. You barricade the up. Now, when you fence it up, any ant that is outside the farm cannot get that smell, that odor, that aroma, through their chemos uh, uh, chemosense. They cannot detect it through their chemosense because the wall has broken, it's a barrier between the ant outside trying to use his chemosense to sense what is going on there, what is in the other world. They cannot detect it. So for that reason, the wall has broken down all ants outside your farm. Chemosense will not work anymore. In that reason, there is no way they can come into the farm. You barricade. That is why we discourage uh, uh, using a greenhouse. Greenhouse, you see it over there. Their ant is different from a uh, soldier ant. Now, if you do a greenhouse, you start with a, a, a zinc. Use zinc from the foundation or use one coach or two coach of blood from ground. From there, you build your, your, your farmhouse. The immediately snail dies in that uh, a greenhouse, the aroma can be detected through the perforation of the net, the net outside, for the ant outside to sense uh, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, odor of that dead uh, snail. So their chemo sense is still working. That's why the fact that you are using it. They will come close to that place, trying to go into that farm. Your net has barricaded them, my brother. The penetration between, if you use wood, the wood and the block, in that, in those tiny holes, ants will penetrate to make sure they get into your farm. If it is zinc, the two places that the zinc lap each other, they will penetrate. Remember, when they are going, they are defining a trail that other ants will follow. So when they penetrate through those tiny and get into the farm, I mean, they see the dead animal, they will pick from it, go back to the colony and make a report. And the queen will make an order. When we say queen, 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 queen in the ant colony, what is the queen all about? Immediately an ant, male and female, moves and they get to a particular location. The, male, the, the female one would look at the area, it's okay. It might be on a tiny wall, back of well, uh, uh, board, on top of roof, anywhere, inside the hole of blocks. They would, the, the, the female ant will lay eggs there. Immediately, the female ant lay eggs there. The, when the eggs hash, that female ant becomes the queen of all the children. They, in turn, will reproduce. They'll keep reproducing before you see all that old place is dominated with ants. Thousands. They lay thousands of eggs. Now, the first female ant that lays that first egg in defining that area becomes the queen. So that queen is the one that gives order to go and bring dead things with the report of already defined trail from any ant that sees a dead animal. Be it goat, be it cow, be it human being. If you die in the forest, you see ants, soldier ants everywhere trying to feed 
on you taking their food to the, the farm. So be it intensive, be it extensive, if you did not barricade your farm very well, ants will penetrate. Now, ants are not locating the live snail. They are not after the live snail. They are after the dead snail that emit a, chem a, a, a chemical that their chemosense has detected. When they go there, they bush it. So when you as a farmer comes to the farm, you say, ant has entered my farm. Ant has killed my snail. Ant killed this, ant killed it. That snail is dead. So live snail does not emit out. Any living thing doesn't emit out. So they will not come to the farm. That is if you do not break or barricade a, a, a wall to break their chemo sense from detection. So ant is not a problem of snail. Ants use their chemo sense to look for food. So, and uh, what kind of food do they look for? They look for dead animals. They look for food. Rice, beans, anything you put on the ground, indomie, spag, whatever. Immediately it's on the ground. That scent of sugar that is in your food, their chemo sense will detect it and they will come. You will wonder why immediately there's food in the living room. You didn't tidy up the kitchen, whatever. Ants are there. Yes. They have detected that sugar in that food with their chemicals. sense. They will go there. So if snail dies in your pen, they will go there. For those who are doing pen, which I don't support, I never recommend pen one day because there are so many things involved. All my lecture, you see, being vegetarians, isolation center, here and there, pen is out of it. But in the extensive farm, people are threatening you that ant, ant, no. Ant doesn't kill snails as you think or as you are taught. No, it doesn't. Ant go and locate dead snail in the farm. They go after that dead snail. You will not know when that snail dies. So when you finally see the ant, you just assume that that ant killed that snail. That is ant versus snail. But do you know another problem? The most important predators dangerous predators to snail let me list them for you one lizard two rat moss they are very dangerous do you know what lizard does to 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 your farm when lizard gets into your farm that's why we try seal up we call it snail proofing you seal up everywhere for those things not to enter your farm for the first place when the 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 lizard gets to where there are eggs they will break the egg and suck up the liquid, the yolk, inside the, 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 uh, the egg. They have gotten calcium. They love it. That's another way of getting calcium. So if you expose your eggs in the farm, you do not cover up, your plantations are not okay, those things will feed on it if they find way in. Then rats. The rats or the mouse in the night, they feed on the babies that just came up. The, really the baby hatch from the eggs, they will feed on the meat because they are powerless, very tender in the farm. They will feed on those meat. Sometimes you go to the farm, you see empty shell. Baby that just came up, empty shell. You look at it, empty shell. Look at it, empty shell. You have uh, uh, exposed these tender snails to those predators. Ant, mouse, and a lizard, and mouse. Ants are after dead ones. So make sure your farm is well tidy, clean, and neat for uh, uh, ants not to even locate or any dead things. Once in a while, you do some cleanup to make your farm very hygienic. Organic farming system is what we recommend. So for that reason, I hereby declare to you that ants is not a problem of snail in the extensive system. If you get it right, don't go and construct a, a farm in a very local way and you said the theocracy said ants will not come. If you use uh, any construction that will make ant detect a dead snail through their chemo sense, that farm will be attacked by snail. And immediately they get in there, remember, and they realize that, wow, the aroma there, the, 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 the odor there in the farm is too bad and the, yeah, there is food here. They will start defining and start building colony in that farm. Immediately they build colony, you are in trouble. Once in a while, you see them come. You wonder where they are coming from. One thing you should understand is there are ants in the surface of the earth. If you see those tiny, tiny, small, uh, very tiny, small, and those are no problem. When we're talking about ants, ants, we're talking about soldier ants. 
sugar ants, those red ones, those tiny ones that follow sugar, whatever, they don't have business with snake. Even if they look for their food, they don't attack. But the soldier one, they bite, they destroy. Those are the ones that are more scary. But in extensive system, don't even allow their guests into your farm for the first place through farm construction. I will at this point introduce our school to you, S and T Sne, uh, College of Fellacy Culture is ongoing. If you register in that college, we'll take you in totality. You can see the background. There are snakes everywhere. Once in a while, when I was giving lectures, everybody say, Show us your fan, show us your fan, show us your fan. This is my fan. We do training, we do practical training uh, to students who are around Lagos State. Those that are far away will do online training, will, will do practical training, and will inspect your facility. Immediately you register with us in our college, we are automatically your consultant from the day of your starting of your farm down to the day of your harvest. Why are we waiting to the day of your harvest? That's to tell you there's guarantee of we being with you to the end of your success. I remain Engineer Theocracy, your humble servant. I am an healthy culture. I am not an animal scientist, but I am snail expert. If you want to call us, precisely me or my manager, you can dial my number 070-33-280-489. I come again, 80 one three two seven seven four eight nine four eight that is my